All right, Greg, thank you. A full house here at the Fleet Center in downtown Boston, Massachusetts. An intriguing matchup, Alabama against Indiana. In the Midwest bracket, first round encounter, Pittsburgh already has advanced. They had a, a very comfortable win earlier tonight against Wagner. Well, this one really has a lot of elements to it, Bill. Let's talk about Indiana first. A Final Four a year ago, and Tom Coverdale, one of the stars of the NCAA tournament last year. Such a tough-minded guy. It's so important how he plays. He's the spirit of this team. He's a guy that knows how to play without the basketball. He cuts well. They can put him at the point. He can break you down, penetrate and score, but also roam around outside. He likes big shots, big games. He loves the NCAA. Just one of those little footnotes, Mike Davis, the head coach, reminded us that this Indiana team was 20 and 12 a year ago when they came in as a fifth seed. And for Alabama, a team that for a short time in midseason was ranked number one in the country, their star is Irwin Dudley. Well, he's a stud down there. I mean, how he handles the double may be the secret of this game. He's got to do some good things. We know he can face up and make a jump shot. I think he's got to stay close to the basket, use a power game, be an impact player down on the block against the Indiana team. They're not big, Indiana. Frequently they'll play with four little guys and a center. So Dudley becomes very important. And the third member of our commentary team here in Boston, she's back home. Let's say hi to Leslie Bissell. Vern, as you know, Mike Davis doesn't usually look nervous, but tonight he told me he is. He said, I want our kids to have composure, but it is, after all, my alma mater. Well, Mark Godfrey told me, ultimately, friendship is more important, but tonight, we want to throw the first punch. Vern? All right, thank you, Leslie. Mark Godfrey in his fifth season as a head coach. He came into Alabama about the time that Mike Davis was leaving in his fourth year. And the lineups for these two teams, first of all for the Hoosiers of Indiana. In the front court, Jeff Newton and George Leach at 6'9 and 6'11. And in the back uh, court, Coverdale, the outstanding freshman Bracey Wright still playing with a back injury, and Marshall Strickman, a fellow freshman at 6'2, gets the starting nod. And for the Crimson Tide of Alabama, in the front court, it's Irwin Dudley, Kenny Walker, and Kennedy Winston, a 6'7 freshman who is a very skilled player. And in the back court for the Crimson Tide, Antoine Petway gets the start along with Mo Williams. Any sense of how this one's going to go? Well, you know, I, I think it's very important that Alabama does a solid job on offense because I think Indiana is one of those teams that can throw you off kilter a little bit. Also, I think it's very important, uh, the shot selection. You know, Kennedy Winston, you mentioned how talented he is. Play within the system, get others involved. And with Petway on the floor, I think Mo Williams is a better player. Not that he isn't a point guard, not that he can't run a show, but I think it gives him the leeway to dominate without the basketball. Well, this is an Indiana team that came in having lost to Illinois in the Big Ten final 73-72 against an Alabama team that was bounced against Vanderbilt in the SEC tournament down in New Orleans. But Mark Gottfried say, seemed to think that's well, not all a bad thing. They got a chance to go home, rest a little bit, then have three hard workouts before they came into Boston to take on this Indiana team. Well, he mentioned last year, the SEC, they had to go right out of town right after playing in the uh, final last year. And the officiating crew, Scott Thornley, Bill Gracie, and Stanley Reynolds, and this one is underway. And Vern Lundquist, the Hoosiers go. Wait a minute. With his own principles. Yeah, they may have some principles out there. Oh, goodness. Uh, you want to run your stuff all game, but look at this nice, uh, he may have walked. I mean, that's a great play Mark had put out solid screen and oh my goodness you got to get the deuce 10 seed Alabama 7 seed Indiana there's the ball from Strickland into the hands of Tom Coverdale and one thing when you play Indiana they run a ton of things a lot of screens a lot of changes from game to game straight up man Marshall Strickland guarded by Petway. Alley-oop underneath George Leach, right under the basket. Ball is out of bounds. Well, we've got games coming up in other regions. Sam Houston State, Florida. Wilmington against Maryland and Butler, Mississippi State. Those of you expecting to see one of those games will get you there in time for the opening tip. 
Oh, Racy right, nice, nice give back to Coverdale. Wow, that's good. Well, that's him though. He figures, let me get this thing started. Let me stir the drink a little bit. <laughs> oh, Dom Coverdale from way outside with three seconds remaining on the shot clock. Nice pin down series here. Gets the look. And he can provide a lift to Mo Williams off the ball. Playing like a shooting guard. Screen down. Knock it down. Sophomore from Jackson, Mississippi. And here's George Leach. Well outside. Back cut. Marshall Strickland way off the glass. Knocked out of bounds. And it will be Indiana ball. Well, when you late the shot clock, who would you like to have it? His hands? I would suggest uh, Tom able to knock it down. But Mo Williams, a pin down, pops out, gets the feet set. You can see the tardy defensive response by Wright. Catch and release on the out-of-bounds play by Coverdale. And a foul over the top is going to be called on George Leach, number five. That's the first of the game. But you mentioned the contact, and we should straighten it out. Gottfried saying that he was a better shooter than Davis. And uh, Davis saying, are you kidding me? And then Godfrey did say, if I could get free from Mike, I was a good shooter. And then put a smile to Mike Davis. There's the shot from Dudley. Off the iron. Loose ball, knocked out of bounds, and this will be Indiana. Mike Davis, of course, played basketball for Wim Sanderson one year for C.M. Newton at the University of Alabama. Replaced Bob Knight as the head coach at Indiana and now faces his alma mater. Mike saying this is the first time he's ever been in the Boston area to play a basketball game. I think he was up here for a camp. I think it was right, Nelson's Nelson camp, camp, camp yep. and he was the Bucks coach. Played just about two minutes, a 3-3 ball game. A little stagger screen to get Coverdell a look. Good response by Williams. There is some speed out there, Vern. Racy Wright, freshman, long three-pointer off the front iron. Needed his legs a little deep. Maurice Williams has the ball in his hands, takes the jumper quickly, in and out. Coverdale goes for the corner and touches it last as it goes out of bounds. See, now that, that shot offends me a little bit. They got the nice screen down to give an open look. Nobody's really into the rhythm and, you know, just jacking it up from deep. Let a few guys touch it first. Well, Williams and Winston, I think it's uh, safe to say, are not shy about putting up the ball. Not at all. And, you know, they, they, they good shot, nice pass here off the penetration. you got to finish. And Walker right around the rim. Kenny Walker, the senior from Jacksonville, Florida, misses on that one. 3-3 three, three game, 17-27 to go, first half. And Newton's got to move, I think. He's got Dudley, you got to keep him active, bring him out a little bit. I think it'll be a nice slip by Lee. Oh! Marshall Strickland finds him. I'll tell you what, if George could play consistently at a high level, this is an entirely different team. We know he can block shots, but anything on the offensive end, he's got more talent than he shows, I believe. 6'11", Jr., there's a loose ball, tipped into the hands of George Leach. He gets it to Marshall Strickland. Left side, Coverdale. Got it. Great feel. And Strickland doing a solid job. Got the trail guy, got him in his vision. And Coverdale, such a feisty competitor, nails it. 8-3, Indiana, in the early going. Now, Kennedy can beat you with the dribble. He can beat you coming off screens. Dudley works hard for it, puts it in. And he is a hard-working All-SEC performer. If you, don't, if you don't double him, Vern, I mean, he can put you away, put you to sleep. Now the tiny Uniontown, Alabama. Pick and roll. Strickland, Petway goes for the steal, gets it. Here's Mo Williams, Coverdale's back. Pull up, take the jumper, can it. And he's got Walker at the rim. Good solid play. It must be the shoes. The red shoes are back. I didn't see the SEC tournament, but he didn't play with those all year, did he? No, no, no. Antoine Petway. <laughs> There's Newton off the iron. Dudley gets it. Here comes Alabama with the chance to take the lead. Mo Williams, jumper, little fadeaway. Got it. Wow. Off the ball again, Burn. Not a bad move by Godfrey with Petway doing a solid job orchestrating. And Mo free to rain deep. Mo Williams with seven in the early going. The sophomore out of Jackson, Mississippi. Nine eight. 
And look at all the screens and back screens that Indiana runs. A nice fill by Bracey. Bracey right from the Colony, Texas. Had to sit out four games middle of the season with a back injury. And the shot clock now at seven. Coverdale finds Newton for three. Did you notice nobody was on him? I know it was deep, but he can make shots. Dudley wasn't willing to come out. Under 15 to go, a 9-8 Crimson Tide lead over the Hoosiers. They've scored six unanswered. And Leach really getting caught behind here. And this is dangerous, I think. Traveling. Gotta have the pivot foot established. It's the shoes. Style, my man. We should change before we pick up the girls. Okay. Chevy Avalanche. It changes from a pickup to an SUV. What are you doing? Avalanche, like a rock. Now, during Lobster Fest, we've got lobster and shrimp, the two best things ever to appear on a plate. This is a beach party for your taste buds. Lobster is meant to be savored. Shrimp are meant to be shared. Because this is Lobster Fest, where our succulent main lobster tail and freshly breaded shrimp or shrimp scampi are just $13.99. If there's a better combination, it hasn't been invented yet. Lobster and shrimp for $13.99, now during Lobster Fest. The Home Depot is more than a store. It's a commitment. A commitment to having the lowest possible prices every day, and not just a promise. It's the assurance of a price protection guarantee. It's a reminder of just how smart you really are. It's a little extra change in your pocket and the know-how to make every dollar work. It's more than a store. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Somewhere, a nurse manager's blood pressure is rising. Four nurses out with the flu, ER's gone berserk, and the compound fracture in 116 just wants his lime gelatin. Nearby, a talented nursing assistant needs a good job. That's where we come in. Employers call 888-MONSTER. Post your job and find the right person for it. Because now, blue collar, white collar, no collar. Monster works for everybody. Tiger Woods shoots for a feat never accomplished in the history of the Masters. Three consecutive green jackets. The Masters is on CBS. Crimson Tide from Tuscaloosa over the Hoosiers from Bloomington, 9-8. And we advise those of you expecting the tip for Butler and Mississippi State, we will get you there in time for the tip, which will come four minutes after the top of the hour. 9-8 here. Terrence Mead off the bench during the uh, break for Alabama. And Ernest Shelton is the other substitution for Mark Godfrey. A couple of guys, Shelton wearing number five and Mead 14 who have had real problems shooting the basketball this year. And they've got to shoot it well. Nice little play. Slide to the goal. But if they shoot the ball, it's a different Alabama team. 9-8, 14-17. That foul on Kennedy Winston. 6-7 freshman. Winston ineligible for the first 12 games of the season. He's such a talented player that Mark Gottfried said when he got him back, he inserted it into the starting lineup. There's a five-second violation. And it really, Bill, upset the rhythm of the team. And in watching tape uh, during the year, uh, you could feel it. They didn't know how he, uh, where to put him, when to put him in. And then they started him in the second game back. He felt maybe he should have. I think that's what's great about coaches. You second-guess yourself as to what can happen. He's a wonderful talent. And you got to play him. A little duck in. Great entry pass by Williams. Dudley gets the, the follow on his own missed shot. Puts it off the glass and in. Well, when they are banging the glass, and these are two talented guys, I think, the Walker Thunder, the Walker's taking a rest right now. An 8 nothing run by the Crimson Tide of Alabama. And they're up by three, 13.48 to go. A little zone look right now. And Mead playing an area, looking to exchange, pushes Winston back. It's dangerous against this outside shooting team. 
That uh, bit for three not there. And here comes Ernest Shelton into the hands of Mo Williams, Alabama. Up by three. Off the glass, got it. And boy, he knew that Leach was looming too. Kept his ball away. Used his shoulder to ward off a little kiss and they got just, I think, telling guys to calm down a little bit. Kyle Hornsby will come on for Mike Davis's Hoosier team. Senior from Anacoka, Louisiana, who was a starter for much of the year. He, too, has had shooting problems and, in and, this his senior season. And in fairness to him, I think it's his knee, too, which at the end of the year they may have to do some work on, according to Mike. And now the switch back to Coverdale at the point. Hornsby comes in, gives Strickland a blow, and now Coverdale runs the show. And A.J. Moye, one of the stars of last year's run to the championship game, is on for the Hoosiers as well, number two. And he likes March. He plays a lot better, and it doubles points, and very active. Just Coverdale tees it up again. How about him? A rhythm and a float right now. Cuts the margin to two. Tom Coverdale's third three of the first eight minutes of this ball game. A 13-11 score. Now Terrence Mead. Shooting specialist who's just, just really fallen off the face of the earth in the senior season. It's really a shame, you know, because he's had a, a talented career. And this is a tough match, I think. Tough shot by... He can elevate over right, but don't force it. Kennedy Winston. Right side, Hornsby. Good defense by Mead. He's out and knocks it out of bounds. Well, you'd like to have a little mo of Mo. I uh, mean, his ability offensively. I just like the way he held up. And kicks at the end of that. And Chris, the, the Hornsby would have cut to the box now. There's Hornsby back outside. Coverdale. It's amazing when you can shoot how guys play you and now you can beat them with the dribble. That's what Mo means for the last trip. Uh, here's Hornsby guarded by Mead. I you know he's a shooter. Nice oh, move by Mead. Yes, it was. There's the dish underneath. The loose ball out of bounds. Turnover. Indiana. Now, now look out that floor, Vern Lundquist. We yes. can play in this game now. Four little guys <laughs> for Indiana. Sure, it's lunchtime. The faculty game. It, it's amazing what Mike's been able to do without size. He just has got guys believing they're playing bigger. And Moye plays power forwards, by the way, at six foot two. Mike Davis in his third season as the successor to Bob Knight, and the third consecutive year in which this Hoosier team probably without the greatest degree of talent in the league has won 20 or more. Now, absolutely. I mean, he's, got, he's to be confident in what he's been able to do. And that time, a little penetration by me to get on the board. Four-point Alabama lead. Mark Gottfried said Sunday when they watched the selection show and learned they were in, it was like a defibrillator had been applied to the Alabama team. And that's it. That'll get you a little breath of fresh air, too, when Hornsby knocks him down. I thought Coverdale got away with a double dribble, by the way. Got the ball stuck. A one-point game. Indiana, four of eight from outside. This is an Alabama. There's a Coverdale with the slap away. The ball is on the floor. It's got to be a walk. It is. It may have been fouled before, but once you catch it and go down. Time goal. One point Alabama lead. I mean, I'm proud of you. I mean, I'm really proud of you. Dadgummit, little joke. Entertainment on the ranch sure has come a long way. Oh, hi, Fly. How are you? What would you expect from the best suburban yet? It's not a visit, Paul. You, know, you going to get out here and help us? Sure, Paul. Paul, oh, come on. Chevy Suburban, like a rock. on HP technology in the production of perfect sound. 
<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Jiffy Lou. Nice car. It's not a car, it's the Bear Mobile. <laughs> it takes care of us, we take care of the Bear Mobile. Every 3,000 miles. <laughs> Don't worry, fellas, the Bear Mobile's in good hands. Make sure you make it to your next road game. Trust your car to the top team in the business, the J Team. Bear Mobile is good to go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bear stink! Get that chicken! Jiffy Lou, the well oiled machine. It's March Madness. Let the snacking begin. Try an apple. Come on, all right? You buy them, they sit there, you throw them out. Let's stop the dance. The King of Queens, CBS Monday. From CBS News War headlines, break of dawn in Baghdad a short while ago brought another air raid and at least one big explosion in the center of the city. Listen. Earlier, Baghdad was shaking under the heaviest bombardment of the war. Two more of Saddam's palaces were left in flames. Defense Secretary Rumsfeld said Saddam's regime is starting to lose control. U.S. and British ground forces are taking control of the southern oil-producing region of Iraq. Some of them are rolling steadily across the open desert in the direction of Baghdad. U.S. warplanes also hit military targets in Mosul and Kirkuk, near the tense Kurdish-controlled region of northern Iraq. Turkey is sending more troops into northern Iraq against America's wishes. The Turks say they want to stop any exodus of Kurds into Turkey, which has a large and restive Kurdish population itself. Anti-war demonstrations broke out in several Arab capitals today. In Cairo, Egypt, police used water cannon against about 5,000 protesters. Two U.S. Marines have been shot to death by Iraqis in combat. Four others died in a helicopter crash. Dan Rather at CBS News World Headquarters in New York will continue to update this story throughout the evening. Alabama leading 18-14. Mo Williams jacked up another three to increase the lead. It's uh, a four-point margin with 10.05 to go in the first half of play. And now Mo Williams running the show at the point. Nine of Alabama's field goal attempts, nine of 12, have been from three. That one is good. Kennedy Winston. That's inside the arc. That's for two. Uh, he's great with the dribble. He can make that shot as well. Just stay within the confines of the offense. 20 to 14, 9.45 to go first half. Kennedy Winston, number three for Alabama. Here's Newton fighting hard. The tap not there. Ball chased down by Kennedy Winston. Outlet pass. Oh, not a good I'm not sure what he was trying to no, do. No, that doesn't make any sense. Had two white shirts yeah. heading that direction with a looping pass. I mean, anybody could come up with it. Here's Coverdale, Newton. 20 think, to 14. And Vern, I think if Newton screens, he's going to get looks. Screen and pop, there's the back door. Guard around. Pick and pop. Newton 0 for 3 in the game. There, so he there you are. Great job. I mean, he just kept that in. They screened the screener, and Coverdale finds him. Newton gets his first basket, cuts the margin to 4. Now uh, here's Mo Williams. Alabama has hit eight of its last ten shots. This is a team that uh, not only was really uh, bounced by Vanderbilt, they were seven and nine in uh, SEC play this year. There's the jumper need off the mark. 33% field goal shooting percentage for the year. Now that adjustment that they asked for, the automatic switch, it caused that problem, and they settled for the jump shot. Alabama's got to just keep running their stuff. Don't jack it up. Look at this little curl to the goal, and he gets a chance for two. Coverdale, nice step and cut. Mo Williams with the foul. Now we suggested Newton here gets the little bump from the rear, and that's just a solid play. Hornsby's the screener, uh, but they keep him active. I, I think the big guys are negligent on Alabama when their guy moves and presents himself, whether it's screen and pop, screen and roll, screen and curl. You see his numbers in the Big Ten tournament. They came from way back in that uh, Illinois game for the championship. Wound up losing by one. Antoine Penway back on. And Irwin Dudley as well for Alabama. And Vernon, that game, Coverdale was unbelievable down the stretch. I mean, making threes late in the game. You can see he's out of the gate here. He likes the lights, the big time situation. Just a gutty kind of a kid. And he's picked up 11 of the Hoosiers' 18 points in the ballgame. A two-point margin. 
And look at Moye down, and Walker, he's trying to induce the foul, and Moye hit the deck. Take him inside, just pass and cut to the box. Look at the size difference on those two. What Walker, a discrepancy. Moye, yep. Erwin Dudley. And it's a four-point game again as we're under eight minutes in the first half. Same play now that they ran before. Now they back screen. And Dudley does a better job than Walker did on the last trip. Under Donald Perry in the lineup now, number 12. Got a lot of playing time last year as a freshman, and then with the arrival of Gracie Wright his, uh, and Marshall Strickland, his minutes have gone down substantially in this, his sophomore season. Up, good, and a free throw. Well, you talk about a Valentine. I mean, this kid, the toughness, this isn't pretty. He struggles with this spin dribble. Now watch this. He really doesn't, he gets it, but he protects it away from the defense and the little maneuver around the rim, exquisite, because there's a lot of traffic and a lot of bigs down there. Noblesville, Indiana. George Leach will come back on now, replacing A.J. Moye. And Mike, he just loves the way this guy competes. It's a wonderful offensive rebounder, Moye, though. And it gives them a big lift when they're not that large. He just fights for position. Tom Coverdale at the line. Meade will head back to the bench. And Coverdale with a chance to slice the margin to one. And with Penway on the floor now, maybe you'll see Williams get involved a little more. How about the start for Tom Coverdale? He's got 14. new Silverado is here. Still available with the 340 horse Vortec V8. Purchase 20 tons of steel for the factory in Milan. Piece of cake, next. Buy 300 hydraulic assemblies for the Washington factory by Friday. Done. Ooh, best price on titanium discs in Singapore. Oh, look at this, four partners ready to bid. As you bore me. You guys got any light bulbs? How many pallets? Domestic or international? No, just one. I can't do one. He can't do one. .NET Connected Software helps you connect with partners. That's software for the agile business. From Microsoft. We're artists. We build lowrider bikes. Crazy lowrider bikes. Some people don't get it. Check it out now. But that's okay. We're not falling. We're taking What's our thirst? Stop. We're holding on to what's cold. What's yours? When you contact a Remax agent to help you buy or sell a home, you expect service that's a little out of the ordinary. After all, Remax agents average more experience and more sales than other agents. So the next time you need outstanding real estate service, call Remax and watch a spring into action. Remax, outstanding agents, outstanding results. To find a brutal killer, stay 10 feet away from him at all times. Did you kill my wife? He must begin to think like one. If I wanted you dead, you would be. To bring down a monster, you must become a monster. So this is what the devil looks like. A man apart. Rated R. Starts Friday, April 4th. 7.29 to go first half. Alabama by one. Game that has uh, been on a seesaw back and forth. Alabama has led by as many as six. Indiana had a lead of five at one time. 7.29 to go and a one point margin now. And we noted that Petway on the floor now. Mo can, well, Williams, that is, can play off the ball. I think the big guys have to get touches for Alabama. Put pressure on the inside defense of the Hoosiers. And there is Dudley getting a touch. Leach brought in. There's the pick screen, and Dudley freed up. And Coverdale takes it off the glass. And he comes back and fights for it. Both of them. That's great. Takes down. Out of bounds. Touch last by. And we didn't get a direction yet. 
Yeah, they're going the other way. Good hustle, both sides. Irwin Dudley, Uniontown, Alabama. Now you know your way around down I'm, there. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a Alabama long time football? observer of mm -hmm. SEC. SEC, yes, so you yes. sure know. Been in Tuscaloosa many times the last three years and enjoyed it very much. 22-21. Sam Newton to me was just so instrumental in the basketball and of course Wimp followed. Wimp Sanders. Yeah. yeah. Just the any radio person. Have you heard him by the uh, way? Yes, I have. Uh, intriguing, huh? Yeah. He does uh, bring some enjoyment to people. Wimp he, Sanders, he the former Sonny. Alabama coach, and Sonny Smith, the former Aubrey coach, combined on a radio talk show in Birmingham. Here's the shot by Hornsby. No, not there. Good hustle by Leash. Even though he didn't get the rebound, he created it. Look at it. Coverdale, nice and strong. A foul is called as their goaltender. He wants it, and they're saying no. Mike Davis. No. Mike Davis almost standing on that line as though he's going into 15 foot of water <laughs> after the tough things that have happened this year. Oh, everybody concerned about bench decorum. You got to be careful. Tom Coverdale at the line, and he will shoot two. 14 points already, and a chance to put Indiana back on top if he hits the next free throw. Largest lead by Alabama, six. Indiana once led by five, and it's been very closely contested throughout. Evenly matched team. Very much so. With very comparable seasons, don't you think, Bill? Yeah, you know, a lot of expectations. Uh, some met early and then failed. And you mentioned Bracey Wright going out with the four games. That really hurt this Indiana team. Plus, they had a couple of three-trip away during the season. Twice. Three in a row. Yeah, twice. I mean, that's really tough. Bracey Wright is getting ready to reappear for Indiana. Mike Davis telling us yesterday he's probably playing at 75%. See, well, that's not to me a good play. Well, I know you're talented, but they're saying he stepped out of bounds. That's like a settle. You know, quick jack. And Mark looking on. You know, you you got to give guys a license and a trust. And that's one of the things when you watch Duke. Mike's guys have a lot of, he trusts them. They do a lot of good things. You've got to let your good guy, your best player, do some things. But he's got to use some common sense, yep. too. Or judgment. Here's a 23-22 lead. Hornsby, Coverdale, the seniors, and Jeff Newton, number 50. And a good Dudley in the back there uh, with Newton. But your thought on Bracey Wright, he's been nicked a little bit. He's taken some shots, too. Well, Bracey Wright, uh, just a, an extraordinary talent. He actually suffered the back injury while he played at the Colony, which is just north of Dallas in Texas, and then had a reoccurrence of that back injury and was out for four games and never really has come back 100%. Uh -huh. Here's Coverdale. 5.50 to go first half. Hornsby, pretty wise. Coverdale, baseline jumper, too strong. Into the hands of Williams, Alabama wants to run. And the quick hands of Bracey Ryder there. And that's why you recover defensively. Underneath, Dudley, off the glass and in. A size basket right underneath with great hustle. And actually, Alabama really hanging tough on that particular trip. And Coverdale walks it up. Dudley has eight for the Alabama team. Gottfried saying they, they weren't sure because they did finish 7-9 this year. They had a very good schedule, Alabama. They defeated Oklahoma. But he said when they heard, they were watching the selection show as a group, they heard they will play the Crimson. And he said when he heard Crimson, he knew they didn't mean Harvard. <laughs> and, they, and then they all were on a pile. He said he was on, they were so excited he didn't know who they played, where they played, when they played. Jumper, not there. Dudley. Gracie Wright has it. Here come the Hoosiers. Coverdale calls for it. Nice move, right. Offensive foul. Wow. That was deep. That was deep. That's one of those plays. If you set up, it is a charge, but it's rather deep. A lot of officials will disallow it if you're underneath the rim. Under control always. The nice use of the left hand and, well, some theatrics a little bit, but that's part of the game. You got to get the attention of the official. Substitution now, Marshall Strickland back on. Mike Davis telling us yesterday he really thought about going to Auburn. And he asked Sonny Smith not to tell anybody. Then word got out and Wimp Sanderson came, spent 30 minutes at his home in Fayette, Alabama, and he committed 
the, power, the Crimson Tide. The power of persuasion, <laughs> huh? The wimp style. 24, 23. All right, pick and roll. And spin out to the box. Here's Antoine Petway into the hands of Mo Williams. And this is that power game that they have, that high low. And you see the challenge of the passer there. Jumper. Short. Orangeby for Indiana. And that's one of those where Dudley was free on the box and he ended up with a jump. I know he can make him, but I think he's got to just be physical against Indiana. In the air adjustment by Marshall Strickland. Good defense, Alabama. Three on two. And good balance, good recovery. That way comes back outside. Here's Williams. Jump stop. Jumper. And Hornsby. Four minutes to go, first half. A one-point game. Seven seed against the ten. And this is where Strickland has to take over. He's got the resting Tom Coverdale. Just running his stuff. Gets the screen, pick and roll. Nice duck in. There's the turnaround. Leach misses. It's amazing, right? He's a lefty. He had continued with a little righty hook. And guys don't develop the other hand. He end up in a very difficult place. Three and a half remaining, first half of play. Winner of this one up against Pittsburgh on Sunday afternoon. Pittsburgh convincing winners over Wagner earlier. That way, gets it for Alabama. Five on the shot clock, off the glass. Tipped, tipped again. Irwin Dudley, another offensive board and a free throw. So you got a rebound. Good hustle play, good challenge. Once you turn the corner, you can see all the hands trying to grab. They're so tiny under there. I know Leach is in the game right now. The guards must come down and help out on the big people. Demetrius Smith makes his first appearance on the floor for Alabama. Where's number 23? And Irwin Dudley, 10 points and 7 rebounds already. And, you know, you, you look at him. Look at my notes here on, on Smith. He's quick to the rim. And he's a nice post passer. So maybe that's the reason he's in there. Get it into the big guys. Get them involved. Urban Dudley's old-fashioned three gives Alabama a four-point lead. Loans, retirement, AIG. We know money. Right now, Elizabeth up in accounting is having a real party. She picked the 15th over the number two seed because she liked the mascot. Me? I'm not having a party right now. Oh! Get the singular NCAA text package, interactive voting, game starts, overtime alerts, final scores, plus unlimited text messaging for only $2.99 a month. I call it the, how do you like your furry mascot now plan? Go to singular.com slash NCAA or visit your singular store now to find out why singular fits you best. Very funny. What? For that long road to maturity, <laughs> we'll be there. Taco Bell steak quesadilla. Marinated carne asada steak and three rich melted cheeses make this one high class quesadilla. Upgrade to steak. Think outside the bun. Why do we rent from Enterprise? Because having the right car makes all the difference. Grandma, look, they're here. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. I wanted to know. I had H&R Block double check last year's tax return. Free. More than half a million people have taken the free double check challenge at H&R Block. Those that overpaid got an average of $1,300 more. They found over $2,000 my CPA missed. I got 1000 It's my money. 
I want it back. It's your turn. See if we can help you get more back. Take the free H&R Block Double Check Challenge. Alabama leads by four. They have hit just under 50%. Indiana, seven of 19. But they have hit four of nine from outside. And a rebounding edge for the Crimson Tide. Williams and Coverdale both in double digits. Bracey Wright, 0 for 2. And scoreless. Hasn't gotten to the free throw line either. And Indiana, no field goals in the last four and a half minutes. And Coverdale will play off the ball now with Strickland on the game. More of an offensive threat. Tries to take Demetrius Smith off the dribble. Here's Strickland. And the pass into Jeff Newton goes baseline on Dudley, rejected by Walker. Oh, is he active? He's got springs. Great attention to detail there. Get it out of town. Oof. He has done some things this year that are amazing. This is just, just great reaction. But around the rim, he can catch and finish. Can be explosive. And they get a hold here on Smith, trying to do a number on Coverdale. Yes, he was. And Coverdale. 16 foul on Alabama. First foul on Demetrius Smith. Hornsby will inbound. By Jeff Newton. And now Marshall Strickland. Strickland, Newton, Leach, and Hornsby along with Coverdale. Dudley doing the defensive work. Tough shot. Got a little too far underneath. He sure did. Good maneuver, but couldn't finish. But Leach is really competing, though. I like the way he is involved. Kennedy Winston had the ball now into the hands of Mo Williams as we near the two-minute mark of the first half, and Alabama leading 27-23. Nice curl of the box. Well, the big guy should pass the money. They got to stick together. There's Dudley with the screen and Winston with the shot. Marshall Strickland takes it down for the Hoosiers. And a tough catch here. Oh, yes. Directly. Nice save by Newton. And there's Leach. Spins left footed off the glass. In and out. Drop step to the middle with a right hook. He's got to lay it. Right. Uh, just amazing. Goes back to the point you made earlier. Sure does. Likes his right shoulder. Williams. Walker. Nope. Dudley. No. Winston. No. But a foul. And maybe Newton. It's interesting, Winston took that jump shot after Walker had Dudley in the post. His man was behind them. They end up with a jump shot. And you know, you gotta take advantage of those opportunities. Put some pressure on these inside people of IU. That's the fourth team foul. And Kennedy Winston at the line. 6-7, 200 freshman, Mobile, Alabama. Get complete NCAA tournament coverage with live updated brackets and the latest developments on the road to the Final Four. It's all at CBSSportsLine.com or on America Online. Enter keyword CBS Sportsline. And now here's the dilemma for Indiana right now. Leach goes out, Moye comes in, and he's going to match up against Walker, I would assume. And then they should take advantage of that matchup. And Terrence Mead is going to make a reappearance for the Crimson Tide. Senior out of Scottsboro, Alabama. Six-point lead for Alabama. A 7-0 run for the Crimson Tide. Strickland, Newton, Moye back on the floor. Hornsby and Coverdale. Good pressure on the ball there by Mo Williams. Jeff Newton, Dudley right with him. Dudley using his strength there to do a great job on the box. He's fronting Newton now. Yeah. And Williams backed off Strickland. Foul. Oh, they got a push off on Strickland. He must have extended the arm as he got to the lane there. Good defensive trip by Alabama. An Alabama team that for the first time in the history of the school was ranked number one in the Associated Press Bowl. It didn't last long. It lasted about as long as Florida's visit there. <laughs> I'm laughing as Mark, he's a, it, what a tough thing to have. Yes. Everybody mentions it every minute, every news story, every write-up. 
said there's just a huge difference between the number one team at any time and then being number two through 300. Mm -hmm. Because once you lose it, and they didn't handle it very well, there's Terrence Meade for three. After they lost to Utah by one and got out of the first place spot, every reference to Alabama all year indicated Alabama's Crimson Tide once rated number one this year. They've got a big lead here. A journey to the Final Four. It might just start here, on Daryl Newman's driveway, where they can work, they can sweat, or they can go to planters.com, where they can win courtside seats to this year's Final Four. Just log on, scratch off, and planters might just send you up close and personal to the 2003 Final Four. Far, far away from Daryl Newman's driveway. Go nuts at the Final Four. Uh, excuse me, do you know what investments are in your retirement account? Okay. No. And how about you folks? We have no idea. <laughs> and how about your retirement account? I just adjusted it. Now I'm 50% stocks, 30% bonds, 20% cash. You can stay close to your money with online tools from TD Waterhouse. Do your own homework. Plan your own future. You can't plan for tomorrow if you don't know where your money is today. TD Waterhouse. You're in control. Manager, register five. Hey, we're out of... No, we're not. It's like I think it, and it happens. Yeah. Yeah. .NET Connected Software helps you connect your supply chain. That's software for the Agile business. From Microsoft. You can't tour a factory over a fax machine. You can't impress a client with just email. Not that I haven't tried. Sometimes you gotta see that winning smile. Choice Hotels offers more than 2,500 locations across the country. Because staying close to your business can take you far from your office. This smile remains undefeated. Now when you stay at any Choice Hotel, you'll earn triple miles from participating airlines. Call 804-CHOICE. That's the power of being there. Singular at the half with Greg and Clark, 28.3 seconds from now. They'll have all the latest tournament news, live look-ins at other games that are being played around the country. That's all coming up on Singular at the half. Indiana, Zipola for the last 6.05. Mm. They had a 23-22 lead, so 10 unanswered now for the Crimson Tide of Mark Gottfried. It's almost an, a you know, very important basket right now. That's why the timeout, get everything organized, get the shot you want. I would think they'll get the last shot and make sure it's a good one. They're making sure somebody didn't come in on a dead ball situation that had been in before the next live ball. Now we'll get it all sorted out. Ask Mike Davis, who was the better basketball player, you or Mark Gottfried? Mm -hmm. Well, he just smiled, right? <laughs> he looked on with disdain. Now, Godfrey said he could score, and Davis says, well, you never gotten the shot off. Well, he was all SEC defensive Yes, team, he was. Mike Davis. And you know what? He's got a great offensive head, I think. Mm -hmm. You run a lot of stuff, and they need a heady play coming down the stretch here. That's a lot of that time spent in Wichita Ooh. Falls, right? It, it, you know, it didn't, the CPA, you know, right. quick hitters, a lot of things they run. With uh, John Friedor, who's one of his assistants, and there's A.J. Moore. Oh, no, they got uh, Smith. Demetrius Smith with his second foul. And that is uh, the seventh, so A.J. Moye goes to the line. And this is one of those deals where the coach said, don't let Coverdale touch the ball. He was going to do anything. Any roadblock, he was going to push aside. Dudley back in. Lucky Williams, number 13. There's an ironic number for a guy named Lucky. <laughs> well, you know, this is a case, though. You make the two, and you might get lucky with a good defensive stop. Right. You know, if, you, uh, if you're Indiana, you're going to seize the opportunity if you're Bama, and make sure you value the ball and get a good look at one. A.J. Moye shoots one more. One of two. Dudley has it. 12 seconds to go. And timeout called by Alabama. So they're going to set up the final shot of the first half, and they do so with an eight-point lead.
Somewhere, a manager needs someone to deliver a 12-ounce sirloin and a slab of baby backs to the couple at table five. Chop, chop. Nearby, a friendly server needs a good job. That's where we come in. Employers call 888-MONSTER, post your job, and find the right person for it. Because now, blue collar, white collar, no collar. Monster works for everybody. Great crowds here at the Fleet Center in Boston as uh, the city of Boston hosts the NCAA regionals for only the second time ever. And a little zone, excuse me, Vern, out of the gate. Not a bad ploy if they can control it. Mo Williams. Got it! Pump fake if they stay on the floor. He doesn't get the look. I like the maneuver. Change it. And Mike Davis looking on in disbelief. Just about to get up now. Oh. That hurts, as they say. And right here, if you stay on the floor, he doesn't get that bounce. Get the chance to tee it up. A little nylon. Mo Williams with 15 points in the first half. And Indiana goes cold in the last six and a half minutes. We check in with Leslie Visser, who's with Mark Gottfried. Vern, you said... ...with more huge explosions in the center of Baghdad and just outside the city. Some more Iraqi troops are surrendering in the south, including one entire division of regular Iraqi army troops near the city of Basra. Other U.S. and British units are rolling north, meeting sporadic resistance, sometimes fierce, on the way to Baghdad. Two U.S. Marines have been killed by enemy fire, in addition to the four Marines who died in a helicopter crash. Turkey is finally allowing U.S. aircraft to fly through its airspace, opening the way for U.S. troops to be flown into northern Iraq to try to keep the peace between Kurds, Turks, and Iraqis. But Turkey is also sending some of its own troops across the border against U.S. wishes. Anti-war protests flared today in Turkey and in several Arab capitals. In Cairo, Egyptian police used water cannon against the crowds. In this country, some hundreds of people were arrested in San Francisco in a second day of protests. Majority of American opinion remains behind the war. Dan Rather at CBS News headquarters in New York. Impeccable road manners. Well-dressed interior. Looks best in red. Introducing the all-new Mazda 6. <laughs> Let me guess, stuffed French toast down at IHOP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now at IHOP, it's stuffed French toast. Luscious cream cheese on the inside, creamy whipped topping, and your choice of fruit on the outside. Served with all your favorite stuff right alongside. Stuff French toast at IHOP. Everybody's packing in just to get a taste. IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. This is CBS, America's most watched network. Lexus ES, now with special lease and financing rates available. At Kenny Kent Lexus. How many times do you get to have things done your way? With the fantastic selection of Anderson windows and doors from Kite Home Center, you can have it your way. Kite's experts can help you choose the right Anderson windows for a perfect fit. Anderson lets you see the light just the way you want. Anderson Windows and Doors, available at Kite Home Center. From start to finish, you can find it at Kite. It's March Markdown Madness at the Moore Stores, where we've marked down every car, truck, van, and SUV. At Don Moore Toyota at the Auto Mall, we've just announced 0% financing on all the hottest Toyotas, Camrys, Corollas, and Tundras. Buy this new Tundra for only $16,995 and get 0% financing. 
or choose from over 40 Camrys like this 2000 model, just $99.95. So come see us during March Markdown Madness at the Auto Mall in Owensboro. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by GM Goodrich, Taco Bell, the United States Army, and by Pontiac. Never know which way we're going here in downtown Boston late at night. Alabama leading Indiana by 11 as we get set for the start of the second 20 minutes. Bill, let's take a look at the halftime. Well, stands. will he ever return? The <laughs> ability field goal-wise outstanding by Alabama. This is the best I've seen them play, by the way. Early in the year, I happened to go to the Oklahoma game. Three-point field goal. They need Coverdale to really start knocking some down. Pretty even rebounding. The Bama front line decimating by attacking the glass. And right here, when you rebound, generally, you win that battle. Now they are solid early here. I think this is devastating. And the two leading scorers, two points between Newton and Bracey Wright on the evening. 35-24 as we get underway. Here's Tom Coverdale. He had four field goals in the first half. Bracey Wright, who has the ball now, just got his first. I tell you what, he got a quick release there. Sort of snuck it in at the defense, looming on his shoulder. But that's important that he get involved. I mean, this is an outstanding performance. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and Alabama has been extraordinary on the defensive end. First field goal for Wright tonight. That ball kicked, fresh 35. Bracey Wright. I think before the back injury, you could make a claim that he was playing as well as any first-year player in the country. Absolutely. I mean, I saw, I've, seven games I've been involved watching them play, and you're right. Unfortunately, it's, it's a problem that it's going to take a while to yeah. heal itself, too. Backs are peculiar, as we know. Nice cut here. Bo Williams, Beauty, and Kennedy. Winston, under money. Too easy. 17 points now for Maurice Williams and back to an 11-point lead quickly. Here's Coverdale. Tom Coverdale had 16 first-half points. He had four field goals. The rest of the team in the first 20 minutes had three. Right, hit from behind by Winston, knocked into the hands of Antoine Fetway. Good collective defense, though. This kid is tough, by the way, offensively. In and out. Great luck. And he has a lot of breakdowns on matchups. Coverdale gets the rebound. As it slapped away, Petway. We're curious to see if this is on the shot now. I think he was going to pass the ball, and they are going to say, and this is just uh, the ability to gamble and you pay for it, but the ability when you put the ball on the floor to keep your head up. And a good solid look, and of course, the cut by Williams. And it was ruled uh, off pass. 37-26. Tom Coverdale gets it back, gets it outside, Hornsby spots up for the three, not there. Nice rebound. It sure was. Ooh, yeah. Newton. Big time snatch, huh? So the two guys they need to really produce in the second half get the first two field goals for Indiana. They got to have them step up and understanding how to read a shot. It's got to be soft enough to be typical or catchable. Excellent by Newton. High pick and roll. Maurice Williams and Dudley. Now another screen from Petway. I think they got Leach on that one. Uh, trying to get set up, do his homework early. Got caught. But watch inside here, Vern. How to get yourself in position that you become the checkout guy on the offensive end. Slither in, stick the guy just like you would if you were checking him out on the other end. Third foul on George Leach. Here's the catch and release. Mo Williams, Coverdale with another rebound. Left side, Hornsby for three. How about that catch and shoot? And not the bounce either. Coverdale knows they're going to ride it. Get him into the game. I think that's why he started uh, this second half. A.J. Moye leading the applause on the Indiana bench. Marshall Strickland not starting to open this half. And Hornsby, the senior from Anacoca, Louisiana. And right now, Alabama can't feed this little comeback by Indiana with bad shots and quick shots. Get good shots. Get your big guys involved a little bit. Williams, too strong. Loose ball, tipped. Dudley fights for it. 
Hornsby gets it. And here come the Hoosiers. Coverdale, right side, right. Fouled as he makes his way to the basket. You know, I didn't mind Williams' drive, though, Vernon. I mean, he's a good attempt here, but this is early offense. You get down the floor, and I love giving the guy a chance to prepare. Step into the shot. Coverdale, in a wise fashion, gave it up. Hornsby acknowledges. Kennedy Winston picks up his second foul. Mark Gottfried's going to send Terrence Mead on here in a moment. More of an attack mode by Indiana right now. Not sitting back. Leach, little jump hook, fouled by Walker. Now, if you're Walker, you force him the other way. He doesn't like to go that way. Don't let him turn to his favorite side, the southpaw stroke. Leach shoots two. Kenny Walker gets the foul. 63% from the foul. Yeah, they get a lot of fun with George Leach at practice. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. They tease him. Uh, he was knocking down threes in their shooting drill. And a big smile. I mean, it's... He could become, a t he's so long, uh, he could become a factor. Uh, just a solid contributor in areas now, like shot blocking and rebound. I think he could develop a game. Well, at the end of practice yesterday, he hit four consecutive threes and kept glancing over at Mike Davis. <laughs> as if to say, Davis told us, watch him, he's going to take one in the game. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they can ill afford it right now. Four-point margin, a 9-2 run for Indiana to open this half. Well, you thought they had the, the wherewithal to make a comeback. Well, you know, there's a tough, nice little play here. They get the foul and the double, and they just didn't go up straight, reached in. And they got too many good shooters, too. And the one thing with Newton and Wright coming up empty, you've got that in your favor if you can reach them, cajole them, push them. But they get a little more aggressive, and that certainly hurts any comeback is now they got to play real small. They don't have the confidence on the bench with other than perimeter people. Well, they got Mike Roberts and Sean Klein on the bench, but neither as tall nor as adept as George Leach. Dudley. Now let's see what move. It's A.J. Moye. So here's A.J. Coming on to play a forward spot. A tough guy, though. 6'3", 215 out of Atlanta. A gamer. One thing about Dudley, he makes free throws. 71%, but uh, gets there. I, I just think that he could be more of a factor for this team. Big body. Dudley has 13 points, and he's one rebound away from the double-double today. Averaging almost uh, 10 rebounds per game, 9.5 for the season. There's the pick from Newton. Back it goes to Coverdale. Terrence Mead defending. And a nice oh. strong move by Jeff Newton. Bring the big guy away and blow by. This guy's got some athletic ability and also a great sense of the game. We played uh, a little over three and a half here in the second half. And it's a four-point game. It was 11 at the break. Would you suggest that Mike Davis dressed down or dressed up uh, Gracie and Newton? I mean, they're different guys right now, right, Newton? Well, they had one field goal between the two at the halftime spot. Here's Walker short, tipped by Newton. Loose ball, out of bounds. Alabama gets it. But they got the look over Moya. You couldn't argue with that, but unable to convert. Alabama leads it, but the lead has been cut to four. 4.8 seconds remain. One last try for the Bruins of UCLA to get into the Sweet 16. Knocked out last year in the first round by Tulsa. They don't want to lose this one. Edney going the distance.
introduce yourself to Bacardi Silver 03 Premium Malt Beverage. As much fun as you can have with orange. 5% alcohol by volume. Your night just got more interesting. Taco Bell Steak Quesadilla. Marinated carne asada steak and three rich melted cheeses make this one high-class quesadilla. Upgrade to steak. Think outside the bun. <sighs> Why do I rent from Enterprise? Because having the right car or truck makes all the difference. Sweetheart, your honeydew list just got a little bit longer. Sorry. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Be a part of the madness when Craig Kilborn takes the Late Late Show to New Orleans starting Monday, March 31st on CBS. You know my nickname in college? The Big Easy. Back at the Fleet Center, well, Mike Davis was not happy at halftime, and his message got through. He said our offense completely broke down. Our inside guys were just standing around. Well, now we've seen them fight back. As for Alabama, we saw before the game, Kenny Walker wrote on his hand. Vern, he might want to look down and remind himself what he wrote was, dunk it. Huh. And appropriate, but there is a travel before the uh, attempted in. You know, I, I just like what they did, though. The double occurred. They had a dive to the rim, and Hornsby there, you just go up and put it in. No sense walking at that time. Well, a splendid start for Indiana here in the second half. Four of six. Coverdale at 16 at the break. A.J. Moye on for George Leach. He sits with four fouls. He do a nice job on Coverdale. Really aggressive at the point of attack. And you're looking at Coverdale at 6'2", Wright at 6'3", Hornsby 6'5", Moye at 6'3". It's a very, very small lineup. It's tiny, but you know, it, I'm watching them guard on the perimeter Alabama now. Mm -hmm. They're turning guys. They're so aggressive, so far from the rim, it doesn't make sense. Back up a little. Get a good angle. Slide that high bump, Mo Williams. You're getting hung up twice. That time, Bracey Wright gets right into the team. They had a block shot on him earlier. This time, he's able to get to the free throw line. Bracey Wright. One of four from the field. You can follow each game of the NCAA tournament on the internet. For more information on how you can watch March Madness from your computer, just go to NCAAsports.com. Bracey Wright, one more. And the margin is three. Hoosiers trail by 11 at the break, but they have come back and cut the margin to three in this closely fought game. They had a six and a half period in which they scored one point to end the first half. A 13 to one run by Alabama gave them that big margin at the break. And the first half in the end, it did not double the inside people. Now they're doubling. See if the Alabama team can make good decisions with eight to go. You don't want that. Now you sound like a coach who's disappointed. Oh yeah, you gotta get it inside to these guys. That nice defense, could have charged, and Mike thinks it's a, 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 a defensive foul, but good coordination with the shot block as well. Bracey Wright, different guy right now, much more aggressive, and you can see Moye trying to hold off, a nice slide of the screen, and then the help with the block. 39-36, the ball inbounded by Coverdale. There's Hornsby. A 12-4 run to get them back within a tray in this ball game. Coverdale hit three of those in the first half. He hasn't shot in the second half. Here's Bracey Wright, scoreless in the first half, and Newton picks up a foul. I'll tell you what, I mean, you can see that he, moving the guy away, he's right. so maneuverable, flexible. And that time with the dribble, he's got the spot-up jumper, and now the dilemma for Mark Hunter is, do I, who do I keep on him? Who can contain him? But when he's got his back to the basket, I think it's the advantage to Alabama. Step out, screen, pop, iso for him. Let him use the bounce. Here's Coverdale in the paint. Rejected by Walker. Active. Not Skywalker, <laughs> but he can get up there in the elements. Saw Kenny Sky Walker last week, as a matter of fact. And in Lexington KY, I'm sure. Right. Well, he was in New Orleans doing radio shows for a uh, radio station in Lexington. You know, Moye is so clever, and he just induced the push, and the ref spotted as he recoiled. That's the third foul on Irwin Dudley. 
So Mark Gottfried will make a move, and Kennedy Winston replaces the senior. Looking for the lob on that back screen by Hornsby. Tough Hornsby. shot. Yes, it was. And Winston gets the rebound for the Crimson Tide. 39-36. Mo Williams, Petway, Winston, Walker, and Terrence Mead on the floor for Alabama. It becomes a real perimeter game now unless they use Walker. It's, it's sort of the advantage of an ad skill. Let's see how they read this. Back it goes. The free pointer Mead, no. Coverdale to Bracey Wright. Kicks it back outside, a foul, blocking foul is called in the lane. Good piece of officiating too. And a different attitude right now is Bracey Wright more confident. And 14 minutes to go already in the bonus, that's, one and one. And that's just the aggressive nature that uh, Leslie uh, mentioned, Mike Davis' address at halftime. He's just getting his guys to do so many things in an aggressive fashion now. They paid attention. We saw John Trelor sitting next to Mike Davis on the Alabama bench. Trelor was uh, a head coach in the CBA and Mike Davis his assistant. Now they work together and they go all the way back to the Alabama days when John Trelor was his academic advisor. And there's Wright missing another free throw. And a nice play to, to save it too. Goes to McGraw, also a big trainer here and business manager for the basketball team. He's still got a deep shot. This oh! Oh, he's, well, he's stuck. You know what? He changed his personality this half. Now that's going because he attacked uh, the Bama defense with the dribble. And the Hoosiers down 11 at the half. Get the three from Bracey Wright, and they have tied this up 39-39. Hey, Smith, you get a raise? No, I uh, got an Optima. Introducing the Kia Optima midsize sedan. Smith got a raise and options. With available V6. VP? 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. Smith's taking over. Smith. And a starting price around 16,000. Watch your back, Smith. Smith Worldwide. It'll just look like you got a raise. The Kia Optima. Right now, get 0% financing or up to 2,000 cash back. I'm thirsty. You want something? If you're up. I'm up. You want anything? It's okay. David, I'm in the kitchen. Can I get you anything? What do you have? A Coke. That sounds good. Are you sure? Yes, please. Thank you, Corey. Ice? Yes, please. <sighs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Morning, William. CJ. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Looks like somebody got a haircut. Was it too short? They're always glad you came. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, no, you can't drive the truck. See you tomorrow, Bobby. Can you come in and play? Who can you count on? You know them by name. We need a car. A sports car. A wagon. Silver. And certified pre-owned. That one. Autotrader.com lets you compare 2.1 million new, used, and certified pre-owned cars to find the one you want. Oh, now we gotta sell our car. I need a car. Autotrader.com. Your car is waiting. It has been Hoosier time in Beantown in the second half, and Indiana has roared back to tie it up 39-39, bringing a bit of relief to Mike Davis in his third year as head coach here. His family has come from Bloomington. Wife, Tamilia, that's his son, Antoine, who is four and can shoot the heck out of the basketball. And his mom, Vandella, from Fayette, Alabama. Talked to Mike back in January. Mom had come up to Bloomington. He said, I'm going to try and convince her to live here, and she has stayed. Mm -hmm. And she hates to fly, but she came in from Bloomington on the charter yesterday. Up, tip, good. I tell you, nice play off the timeout to get that great look for Kennedy Winston. I'm laughing at the play trip, you know, and got a technical foul. Uh, is that on Mark Adley? Let's see. Yeah. He was upset that there wasn't a foul, maybe on the Winston curl. And 
that's that ridicule we've all done, or sarcasm in the applause for the officials. Here's Coverdale. Pete Moore from Indiana telling us at the half, in the 20 Indiana wins this year, Tim Coverdale, Tom Coverdale was at the line 80 times. In their 12 losses, he got to the free throw line only 19. Times. Yeah, it's a great stat. He's got four assists in this half. Uh, their whole personality, although Coverdale came out of the gate, sparking. That's amazing. That's just a one. It tells you, it tells him uh, when he's aggressive, the good things happen for this club. 41 all, 3 13 to go. Oh my goodness. Wow. Great step through. I love it. What a change, a metamorphosis of a personality. <laughs> huh? Oh. A total turnaround and disenchanted with maybe the call at the other end, but now they got to get back to basics. They've been solid. He mentioned at halftime to Leslie, great defense. They got to get back to it. Now Mike uh, Mike Davis seems energized on the bench as well. Here's Newton. We talked about Tim Garl, a yeah. longtime assistant at Indiana, goes all the way back to Alabama, and he worked for Paul Bear Bryant. Yeah. He was a student trainer in those days, right? Yes, indeed. Newton. Indiana on top. 43-41. Test your metal right now. Be sound. Run your stuff. Let it go through Dudley. When they pushed up, not too bad either. You know, that's almost an offensive foul. And Gracie Wright puts the arm around. He was correct. Oh, yeah, a little hook there. Well, Gracie Wright gets called for the foul. A lot of the alumni wanted to give me the hook <laughs> right here. Look at that. I mean, that's even getting trouble in New York doing that. <laughs> Coverdale taps it out of bounds. It'll be Alabama again. 43-41, Hoosiers. Kennedy Winston guarded by Moye. AJ getting extensive playing time in this half. George Leach on the bench with four fouls. There you go. Dudley has Meade foul. He'll go to the line. Well, he's made some good plays on the double. In some of the games I watched, he didn't do a good job on the double. Wasn't a great passer out of it. But this is tough as they close. Just this little slip. Look at that. Warsby right there with the giveaway. Uh, but clever. Terrence Mead at the line, 65% free throw shooter for the season. And Alabama, perfect, but they haven't been there much. Six of six now. Marshall Strickland will come on now for the Hoosiers, number 22. And Bracey Wright's going to get a chance to rest. Not a bad move, too, because he has really energized this team with his aggressive play. And you can see Elites complimenting him there, patting him on the knee. Tied at 43 with 12.42 to go. First round game from Boston at the Fleet Center. Coverdale. Oh, uh, AJ, yeah. Let's see. I think he got me a moving block. That's a nice little play they run. The screen across and then they get the screen turn to give a little pick and roll here and boy he is off to the races and AJ they hit cheekbones yeah. Bill is that a punishment huh inflicted not only the foul but the cheek now it looks like Meade's gonna be just fine AJ holding his right cheekbone and he'll stay on 43 all 12 30 Remaining in the ball game. A tough matchup for Moye with Winston. He's got gives it a couple inches, but he's got some toughness. Williams quick. Up, block. Strickland held ball, possession arrow, Alabama. Pretty good recognition defensively, Byrne. Everybody closed on the dribbler. 12-21 to go, 20 on the shot clock. Turn around, Dudley, nope. Nice play by Newton, the slap away. Sure was, had to control his man as well. Tapped it right to Hornsby, here's Coverdale. Kicks it outside, Strickland, a foul is gonna be called. I tell you, Coverdale's really upset. He didn't think that he fouled. Gotta be careful. Once you go forward and don't jump stop. That is the first 
foul on Coverdale. The sixth team foul on Indiana. So Alabama goes to the bonus. Next foul on the Hoosiers. Biggest lead was the halftime lead and a three-pointer right at the buzzer by Mo Williams gave him that 11-point margin. Well, Mo trying to post up, feels he can do some damage down there, taking Strickland. Kennedy Winston, little elbow, little shoulder, and he's going to go to the line. Now that, he knows he can manufacture a post up. Uh, Moye riding them all around. Mike Davis uh, upset at the defense, not the officials. And of course, the Bama fans think he should get one now, but he's really not getting after the officials. Now, one of the more memorable scenes this year was Mike Davis at the end of the game against Kentucky. Memorable and unfortunate. Yeah, it was. Right? I mean, it really was. And, and you know, we, we had the picture of Mama before. She told him no more technical fouls. He said, since she told me that, he hasn't had one. That's right. Right? I mean, so that's listen to Mommy. Well, Mike was uh, immediately confronted in the aftermath of that call. There's Mom Vandella from Fayette, Alabama. Her son once starred at the University of. Mr. Goodwrench, who is this one and only GM expert? I gotta find this guy. So, Fred, you are Mr. Goodwrench? That's right. You say you're Mr. Goodwrench, but that guy says he's Mr. Goodwrench. Uh -huh. Well, I'd have a little talk with Chirpy over there, but that's just me. That's how I roll. And you're Mr. Goodwrench. That's right. Huh. Will the real Mr. Goodwrench please step forward? Find Mr. Goodwrench at over 7,000 GM dealerships nationwide. All right, pal, give me the bullhorn. No. You can't tour a factory over a fax machine. You can't impress a client with just email. Not that I haven't tried. Sometimes they gotta see that winning smile. Choice Hotels offers more than 2,500 locations across the country. Because staying close to your business can take you far from your office. This smile remains undefeated. Now when you stay at any Choice Hotel, you'll earn triple miles from participating airlines. Call 800-4-CHOICE. That's the power of being there. Greatest moments in NCAA basketball, 1956, the perfect season, 1957, triple unbelievable overtime, 1982, New Orleans voodoo, 1983, the Cinderella story, 1992, the greatest game played ever. Get the singular NCAA text package, interactive voting, game starts, overtime alerts, final scores, plus unlimited text messaging for only $2.99 a month. I call it the Fred Jumper, never miss a moment plan. Go to Singular.com slash NCAA or visit your Singular store now to find out why Singular fits you best. Right now, the only thing standing between a supervisor and his weekend is somebody loading this pallet on a five-ton truck to Tuscaloosa. Nearby, a fast, dependable forklift operator needs a good job. That's where we come in. Employers, call 888-MONSTER. Post your job and find the right person for it. Because now, blue collar, white collar, no collar, Monster works for everybody. Superstar Celine Dion performs her greatest hits in a spectacular live event. It will be unlike anything you've ever seen. Celine in Las Vegas, opening night, live CBS Tuesday. Mike Davis's team trails by two, and they need a little defensive stop, something in which he excelled when he played at Alabama from 80 to 83. Joined on that team by Enos Watley, Buck Johnson, and uh, the coach, Wimp Sanderson. Mm -hmm. They had a good one. And Watley, a uh, number of years in the NBA, remember, with the Bulls at one time. Here's Coverdale, Hornsby, Marshall Strickland, Newton, and Bracey Wright is back out of the timeout on the floor. A little zone look now, and uh, the, the enemy's ready for that three-quarter court press, too. Nice post up by Newton. Entry pass. There's Newton off the glass, and he gets it in. And you notice the weak side help is by Meade on the rotation. Uh, not big enough. Tied again, this time at 45. Newton has 10, eight in this half. Kennedy Winston guarded by Hornsby. Oh, wow. he's tough. Right. I mean, he's a wonderful, creative, offensive player. It's part of them getting better, adjusting to him, as well as he, he's got to adjust to his team. You know, Mark Guthrie telling us yesterday as well, he, he has to learn where to get shots for mm -hmm. Kennedy Winston. And by the way, you notice me went behind the screen out that high. Once in a while, Coverdale will stay and make that jump shot. Got to be careful. From the corner, Strickland the feed. 
And here's Newton going up for the ball. It's tipped out of bounds Indiana by Dudley. It'll be Indiana ball. Nice weak side positioning, too, by Newton. Different guy this half. That's that Mike Davis uh, sermon. They absolutely reached him. Got wrenchy. You know, you really have to get emotional, I'm sure. The guys just uh, sometimes need that urging and respond to it. A.J. Moye on for Indiana, replacing Kyle Hornsby. You saw Kenny Walker back on for Irwin Dudley for the Crimson Tide. 47-45. Here's Coverdale. And Newton spin move. Got it. No! Wow. Got to finish. Nice play. Out the pass comes to Mo Williams. Over Strickland. Big got time. that one. Big time pull up. That last trick, you know, Walker went in the game because he's, he's more mobile, can play Newton away, and yet Newton still out finessed him and couldn't finish. Williams had 15 in the first half. He's got four in this second chapter. Here's Coverdale, and he's going to go back to the free throw line. You know what you love about Coverdale? He body searches. I mean, he goes after a guy to get to the line. Uh, but the ability to cross over and get into the lane, look at the elevation at the end. The defense is backpedaling. The concern is the blow by and a great read by Mo. Uh, Coverdale is going to the free throw line for the eighth attempt. And he's perfect thus far, seven of seven. One more. He's one of those kids that when you were younger, you go to the playground and he would guard you, and you knew it wasn't going to be a pleasant day. Right. You'd have to take the two of the stand any chance. Oh, not him. Oh, not him again. The Nudge. He wants to be a coach. He's on the high school coach. I think he'll be all like He gets to play like he does. He a few state championships. A lot of it's about the effort. Nice not call in the lane. Yeah, that was Newton. Here's the basket attempt. And Bracey Wright clears it for the Hoosiers. A chance to tie and take the lead. Good call. Yes, Good call. Was. And he had the corner turn. A lot of flopping going on. So they just get into the angle and wait for some support. Foul is on Terrence Mead. And smart. He doesn't want to leave early. Tough to watch an NCAA game from the uh, back row. <laughs> Coverdale at 20 points. And here's Bracey Wright, who had a very quiet first half. One more. 76% for the year, so you know he's got that talent on the line. And Leach comes in with those four fouls, so a little yo-yo. you got to give Newton a blow, though. I think it's a good move. Right. So Jeff Newton will get a rest, see how long he stays out of the game. And Bracey Wright with a chance to tie. Irwin Dudley will come back on. And Ernest Shelton makes his second appearance in the game. Had a brief uh, time on the court in the first half. Yeah, Sean can light it up on occasion, too. One of those deep shooters on penetration can make some shots. Maurice Williams, Shelton, Mead, Dudley, and Winston on the floor for the Crimson Tide. 9.30 to go. Dudley fights for position. Number five. That's it. That's it. One duck in. You weren't ready. You've got to do your homework early if you're going to play post defense. You've got to be up the lane, leading the guy. You've got to be here now. That's, he's like behind already. He's dead. I mean, that's you're just at a disadvantage entirely. If they lob, it's got to be a perfect lob. If they lob, your teammate is harassing the passer. I mean, not a good giveaway. I mean, just tough. It really inhibits Mike Davis now coming down the stretch. And Newton got some blow, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> May have had four breaths. Number 50, Jeff Newton. George Leach. George Leach. One of those nights. Yeah. Couldn't get on track. Mike Davis doing a little coaching. Uh, they, they, they really have a good uh, relationship, those two. Alabama still perfect to the line. Not anymore. And look at this. But Shelton grabs it, and uh, they've got a chance to break the tie. He's got three or four inches on Moye, and he just got a miss free throw. It's very tough to stick a guy without some help. Here's Winston. Spin, fall away off the glass, no. And Jeff Newton grabs the rebound. Here comes the Hoosiers. Look at the spread in the early. What a perfect pass that was. 
Shot no good, but Coverdale knew right where Bracey right now. Uh, that's a few. That's a lot of practice, a lot of understanding. Still tied at 49, under nine remaining. Uh, Bracey doing a nice job here, almost buzzed the turnover and does with great defense. Now you've got Kennedy Winston, Vern. He's got Moye. I would slip him into the box now, do some damage. He's clever. He can get good weak side position. You might need some help. 40 to go. Hoosiers surprise visitors to the Final Four last year in Mike Davis's second season. Trying to win the first round game this time out against an Alabama team that went into the tournament a year ago as the second seed. And right now they're trying to do it all with the dribble because it's such a perimeter team. I would feel Luke that again. Let him get it and take Dudley. Down on the shot clock now at seven. Here's Strickland. There underneath is Bracey Wright. Is that being active and helping your teammate out? He stood in the corner and they didn't have anything. Great acknowledgement with the dive to the rim. Indiana by two, 7.59 remaining. Wright has 10 points all in the second half. Winston, oh, he just about dragged the foot. I really was unsure, wasn't he? Coverdale. Here come the Hoosiers yet again. They were down by 11 at the break. Had a nice 12-4 start to open the second half. Coverdale off the mark. They're They're hustling. Hustling. They are hustling, Byrne. That same play before, Moye had the foul, and this time he stood still. There's Newton. Turn of face. Dudley's got to be careful. Off the glass and in. Tell you, he's got a variety of shots, too. He can throw the jump hook in there. That time, just took advantage. A little bit of a fade. The kiss for the big fellow. Newton has 10 in this half. Well, it's Newton's law. Drop step, set your man up, a little kiss as they go to break. You know, it's, it's a wonderful life. It's a lifestyle. The smell of the wood burning in an open fire. If you've never had a burger cooked over an open flame, you're missing out on something. Original Western Whopper is back. Crispy bacon and cheddar cheese with bullseye barbecue sauce. Come into Burger King now, because this offer ends soon. Winding down our coverage of first round games in this year's NCAA tournament. March Madness thus far, the Big Ten and the SEC undefeated. Ten seeds with a two and one record. Alabama trying to make that three and one. Tulsa, the lowest seed to win a game thus far. And Indiana has come from 11 down to take a four point edge with 6.52 to go. There's Dudley working hard on Newton off the glass and in. And that's a nice use of a timeout. If you can do it to us, we're going to do it to you. Use the power game, get it to the big guy. 53 51, 6.40 to go. Indiana and Alabama. Big Ten in the SEC. A game in which Alabama was up by 11 at the half. Hoosiers came back to take a lead, which they now hold at 53 51. Six twenty-five to go. That was on Ernest Shelton, number five. Yeah, you're really going to have to move your wheels uh, defensively for Alabama. And a lot of guys on this floor now can take it with the bounce. Puts a lot of pressure on you, too. Bracey Wright shoots two. And another. Did you see him play in high school? Did you see him in I did not. He played at the Colony. All right. I know uh, you're from that Dallas area. Well, yes. Amongst others. Part-time, yeah. <laughs> uh, I got out of Steamboat Springs just before the snow hit Denver, Ooh. by the way. I'm, I'm glad you're that. here. Oh, that was some mess. How about Vermont, that poor team? Right? Tommy Brennan's club yeah. laid up for... Flew into the Denver on their way to Salt Lake and wound up having to bus into Utah.
The Saab 93 Sport Sedan just received a five-star rating for collision safety performance from the European New Car Assessment Program. You're a great mom. You're beautiful and you're smart and you work so hard. Billy, would you like me to call your mom and see if you can stay for dinner? If you insist. Introducing the Cinemeal Deal. Any large Pizza Hut pizza, America's favorite, with up to three toppings, just $11.99. Plus a generous order of our new freshly baked cinnamon sticks absolutely free. The $11.99 Cinemeal Deal. Spoil your family, not your budget. You're powerful, smart. Thank you. You're welcome. At Pizza Hut. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Jiffy Lube. Nice car. It's not a car, it's the Bear Mobile. Yeah. <laughs> it takes care of us, we take care of the Bear Mobile. Every 3,000 miles. <laughs> Don't worry, fellas, the Bear Mobile's in good hands. Make sure you make it to your next road game. Trust your car to the top team in the business, the J Team. Bear Mobile is good to go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bear Stick! Get that chicken! Jiffy Lube, the well oiled machine. The Home Depot is more than a store. It's a commitment. A commitment to having the lowest possible prices every day, and not just a promise. It's the assurance of a price protection guarantee. It's a reminder of just how smart you really are. It's a little extra change in your pocket, and the know-how to make every dollar work. It's more than a store. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. I swim the 200. I study sociology. I grind out laps. I cram for tests. I race nationals. I take finals. And when I finish, I'll be ready to start. There are 360,000 NCAA student athletes. And thanks to continued support, Coca-Cola helps them pursue their dreams. Indiana by four with 6.25 to go. And they have gotten this lead because of the contributions of Newton and Bracey Wright in this second half. 60 of 55, 51 is our score. Antoine Petway for Alabama. There's Walker, nice. shoulder down, offensive foul. Nice play by Moyer. I mean, that's all he could do. He's really struck. I mean, it's like dead on delivery in here. Uh, as he turned now watch the body recoil. I mean, that's what you have to do. He's, in fact, he's so far out there, but just a solid job getting the body into his, his offensive man. There's Tom Coverdale. Senior season. 41 minutes is all he played as a freshman, and look what he's become for the program at Indiana University. It's, it's, he just has so much toughness and gritty play, plus complete those two positions, run the show or play off the ball. Finds A.J. Moye. Off the dribble, steps, a nice play. Yeah, that is shoot it by Walker. Off the glass, no. Moye way up, and there's Newton, it doesn't fall. And Dudley picks it up. Fight for the ball, Indiana again. How about the heifer? And they don't really need this quick hitter. Racy right, oh! How about that? Dagger! A Coverdale. Paying no heed, just delivering the pass to the corner. Bracey Wright has just hit a three from the corner that has given Indiana its biggest lead of the ball game with 5.08 to go. A moment ago, Bill. It's all Coverdale, Vern. I mean, we just mentioned well, this guy can play both spots, shooting it or running the show. And this is a little nylon dagger, and they know how important that is. Hornsby and others just enjoying that stroke. Bracey Wright and Jeff Newton. Wyatt in the first half, two points between them, and Walker misses a free throw. And a good free throw shooter, too. Gracie Wright with 15 points all in this half. And Kenny Walker plays with four fouls and two points. He shoots one more. Kennedy Winston back on the floor, the 6'7 freshman. 
And he replaces Kenny Walker. And now if you're Alabama, you got to be basic defensively. Don't gamble. Keep everybody in front of you with the dribble. A 13-3 run by Indiana. They were down by 11 at the half, as we mentioned. And they're up by six right now. We've got less than five to play. Strickland, no. And a nice job by Irwin Dudley at tipping the ball. Here's Mo Williams, Coverdale back. Oh. Foul and a basket. Big turnaround. Oh, my. How about that read? And then the courage to make the delivery. And Mo, you put it on that left side. It's just a solid look. Shelton gives it in. That's one of those, just let it go, and now Bama's got cause to celebrate. Williams at the line, Alabama is a team 10 of 12, make it 11 of 13. And it is a three-point game again. And they're trying to run some motion now. I think Newton's a guy that's going to have to get into it a little bit right now. Back in the hands of Coverdale from Newton, and a foul on Petway. A lot of Wolford going on now, Petway and Coverdale. Unabashed is Coverdale, but he discarded with the hands the aggressive defense of Petway. Remember that graphic we uh, showed you a while ago? 80 times at the line in the 20 wins for Tom Coverdale, 19 times at the line in the 12 losses. Oh, wow. From Noblesville, Indiana, Mark and Marianne Coverdale. Think these aren't <laughs> tense moments. Oh my goodness! Uh, just relax, dear. Let me just hear him talk you through it. And Missed it. Hustle. Newton. Coverdale kicks it out, Good and poise. they'll go to the half-court set. Good poise, Vern. 420. In this first-round battle between Alabama and Indiana, Strickland. No. Kennedy Winston for Alabama. I don't know what that was. Unnecessary. Williams. Ernest Shelton. Entry pass. Nice move. How about the block from A.J. Moyo? Boy, he hung with it. Just helping his teammate out. And then the rundown. Bracey Wright, Newton, Moye, Coverdale, and Strickland on the floor. There's Newton with the jumper. Yes! There's the guy. And Coverdale used the screen outside, the ball screen to get into the lane. And the defense, tardy, neglectful, didn't get denied. And Newton able to catch and knock it down. All of that set up by the A.J. Moye block. Mm -hmm. Here's Dudley again. Newton guards him. Pump and a free throw. This is a, a heck of a move by Dudley, but he rolled the feet as well. I mean, this is only number two, if I'm not mistaken. I knew, but the ability to help your teammate and had hit the rim and coming down, and then Coverdale turns the corner and finds a little stroke about a big fella. Alabama senior Irwin Dudley at the line. He's three of four in this game, 17 points in all. One more. I beg your pardon. That was the end of the three-point play. I got carried away. <laughs> it's been that good a game. We'll be right back. How about this one, babe? We somehow find everybody who bought the CD last week in Chicago. From the database. Sweet. When the band gets to Chicago, we contact all those fans. Through the mail server. Sweet. Offer them a t-shirt, concert tickets, something. From the online store. Sweet. Sweet. Now that babe would rock. Sweet. What are you rocking, babe? Sweet. .NET Connected Software helps you connect with customers. That software for the agile business. From Microsoft. Here we go. Steel. Down the middle. One on one. Babe. <laughs> Did you see what I see? Because I saw a robber. I saw. Give me that saw. Does anybody want to cope? Yeah, we yeah. get up, man. Hey, you crazy, man? That's Corinthian leather. And use the footstool to get to the refrigerator. I'm running all over y'all like a treadmill. Oh, ball home. I am the greatest. I'm the greatest. I can't stop it. It's bad That's hot. I'm telling you. I'm just super nice in it, you know? That's all. When you nice right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all like a if you want to be voted an Automobile Magazine All-Star, you better be good. If you want a unanimous vote, you better be Mazda 6. Only Mazda 6, the car they said delivers high content of engineering and luxury features, got the thumbs up from all the judges. Oh, and these guys? 
No all-stars here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lease an all-new Mazda 6i for $239 a month for 39 months with $25.39 do-it lease signing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelin designed the cross-terrain SUV tires specifically for SUVs to help provide responsive handling and a smooth ride. You'd be surprised just how smooth. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. You can't tour a factory over a fax machine. You can't impress a client with just email. Not that I haven't tried. Sometimes they gotta see that winning smile. Choice Hotels offers more than 2,500 locations across the country. Because staying close to your business can take you far from your office. This smile remains undefeated. Now when you stay at any Choice Hotel, you'll earn triple miles from participating airlines. Call 800-4-CHOICE. That's the power of being there. Newton and Wright, two points in the first half, 27 in the second. You think you don't spend a little emotion in this game? Elizabeth Gottfried, the coach's wife at Alabama. It is painful when somebody closes down there, and you're part of it. Indiana by three as we near the three-minute mark. Here's Strickland and Newton out on the perimeter. This guy, they're going to give him, get the play set up, but I think they might just ISO right at the top against Dudley. They got him on the wing now. There's Gracie Wright. Eight on the shot clock. There's Newton, nice. and the reach around by Dudley taps it into the hands of Kennedy Winston. Good, solid play. Never sealed him, but a step to the ball as well. Now Newton fronting Dudley. And Winston has the ball in his hand. I thought they were going to ISO. They're going to go to Mo Williams on the block. Gracie uh, Wright's pretty tough and can elevate. It's going to be tough to get it off. Williams, no. Wright with a foul. It's nice when you can get your shooting guard down. That's the third on Bracey Wright. And Mo Williams at the line. Second trip, and he shoots two. Rebound, Indiana. It remains a two-point game. Coverdale, 21 points, eight assists, and seven rebounds with the senior from Indiana. Has the ball in his hands now with 2.10 to go. They're really hugging. They could be even with the bounce right now. Or a step and go. The hands in there, maybe just a little too strong with the defense. Now, you're in great position. Don't let him get to the free throw line but here you can see uh, making sure that he doesn't get a retouch and that's nice screen and tough angle didn't really hug the hip and then the reach and the temptation is so great 10 of 11 at the line tonight for the season 81 percent one more Nothing to it. Nah, he's been through this for years right now. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> she gave in to the emotion at the last minute. <laughs> Coverdale, perfect this trip. A four-point game with two minutes to go. Petway, guarded by Coverdale. Here's Mo Williams, and Bracey Wright is on him. Dudley, the help comes from Moye. Snaps it, he did it before and he got away with it. Yes. He shuffles those feet. Newton trailed them nicely. And that time, Kennedy Winston didn't know what they were running. He thought it was coming for him. Now watch him shuffle, he has this habit. See, bada bing. And all of a sudden you just go up strong. Power to the goal. Indiana, four point lead, 140 to go. Only the eighth turnover by Alabama tonight. Indiana's protecting the ball well as well. They only have nine. 90 seconds remaining. There's a little bit of clock now. Got to get into it right now, though. Don't want to get stuck with a long jumper. High pick. There's the mid set by 
Newton and Gracie Wright all the way to the basket. And no weak side help. Kennedy Winston was locked with his man. He should have been over there blocking that shot. Well, the dribble, they're hugging them. They're turning them into better offensive players than they should be right here. You got to get over. Get me over and jam the guy. Everybody else will cover your man. Not good play, D. Every species on Earth knows it's coming. Where are they all going? It's not where they're going. What are they running away from? Man will be the last to know. I've quarantined the entire area. Nothing leaves alive. This spring, <laughs> your body oh, oh my God. is no longer <laughs> your own. You're not Jonesy. Dreamcatcher, rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. Quite a turnaround for the Hoosiers of Indiana, trailing by 11 at the half. Big contributions from Jeff Newton and Bracey Wright in this half. But overall, what a game by Tom Coverdale, the senior for the Hoosiers. I mean, the heart and soul of this team, they really respond. They got to come up with a good play here. Something going to the rim or in the box area. I think Winston can do some damage with Moya, but they settle deep. It's got to go, and it does. Oh, wow, does that get you healthy quickly? Mo Williams for three, and it's a three-point game. Is it with Doctor in the house? Williams has 26. Indiana up by a trio. And he guards Coverdale. This is where I think they've got to cushion just a little bit. Don't let them exploit you. Gracie Wright has it in his hands. Shot clock at 12. Game clock, 33. Wright, jumper, off the mark. In and out, tip. Alabama with a chance to tie. I think they're going to go for the timeout, yeah. Mark Gottfried's bunch has a chance to equalize. We'll be right back. Manager, register five. Hey, we're out of... No, we're not. It's like I think it, and it happens. Yeah. Yeah. .NET Connected Software helps you connect your supply chain. That's software for the Agile business. From Microsoft. We're witnessing a college basketball miracle. Dick Vitale silent for an entire 17 seconds. On a personal note, for myself and sportscasters everywhere, I'd like to thank the crust, the juicy toppings, and the pizza delivery... Big pizza at home. Play DiGiorno's Advance to the Dance. You can win a trip to the 2004 NCAA Men's Final Four, one of 70,000 prizes. Details on specially marked boxes. Crimson Tide has used its final timeout. Bill Rafter, you like the idea of going for a quick two here. Uh, I go for two right away. You're going to stretch the game out. There's going to be plenty of possessions if you do it wisely. Get the two. Get ready defensively. If you can foul somebody in mind or right away that you want, may want to just stop the clock immediately. That way, can may they're going to uh, Indiana want to see what they've got four, so they're going to see what the setup was. Petway's a good three-point shooter, as uh, we'll get to that in a moment, Byron. Time called by the Hoosiers. 23 seconds to go. Retirement plans from the Principal Financial Group can prepare you for almost anything. Yeah, you got Retiring! <laughs> One last Retiring! At the Principal, we're the nation's 401k leader. We offer mutual funds, annuities, and rollover IRAs, which leads to a secure, happy retirement. Ted! Ted, how'd you do it? Planet. For 120 years, the Principal Financial Group, we understand what you're working for. Indiana by three, 23 seconds remaining. It'll be Mo Williams to inbound to Petway. Mo Williams, four of seven from three-point range, if they opt to go that route. I think you just put it on the floor and get yourself to the rim. And posting up Williams. Here's Petway. Shelton pops out. There's the double screen, Williams for three, off the mark, loose ball, Coverdale. I don't get it. I don't get it. What a tough shot. And they got a basket at the other end. Here's Moye for the punctuation mark. Bad utilization of the clock and game situation crossed Alabama. 
And that is a shame because they had a good effort defensively. But how about the tickers to Valentine's for IU? Vandela's baby boy did some promoting at halftime to get his guys to play and get involved in this game, Burn. Indiana was down by 11 at the break. They got huge second halves from Bracey Wright and Jeff Newton. And they got an overall marvelous performance.